this last you have got one problem using decoupled load flow method this is the given power system network this network consists of two generator buses one load bus bus 1 is a slack bus voltage is 1.04 and 0 degrees bus 2 is a generator bus real power generation is 50 megawatts reactive power generation is 30 megavolt ampere reactive load is 305.6 megawatts 140.2 megavolt ampere reactive third is a load bus or a pq bus the load is 138.6 megawatts 45.2 megavolt ampere reactive calculate the first iteration value of v2 delta 2 v3 and delta 3 here line series admittances are given set the calculator in the radian mode step 1 form y bus matrix this is the y bus matrix of the system second step initialize the bus voltages slack bus voltage is given 1.04 delta 1 is equal to 0 v2 v3 we have to assume v3 is equal to 1 per unit delta 2 is equal to 0 v3 is equal to 1 per unit delta 3 is equal to 0 Step 3 Calculate P2, P3, Q2, Q3 using static load flow equations. P2 is equal to minus 0.369. Q2 is equal to minus 0.816. P3 is equal to minus 0.417. Q3 is equal to minus 1.195. All are in per units. Step 4 Calculate the specified real and reactive power. Here P2 specified is equal to P2 generation minus load. Here the generation is 50. 50 by MS MBI is equal to 100. Therefore 50 by 100. 0.5 minus calculator 3.056. So P2 specified is equal to minus 2.556 per unit. Similarly Q2 specified is equal to generation minus load. This is given 30 by 100. 0.3 minus 1.402 that is equal to minus 1.102 per unit P3 specified the value is 0 0 minus 1.386 minus 1.386 per unit Q3 specified 0 minus 0.452 that is equal to minus 0.452 per unit that is the step 4 step 5 we have to calculate the difference in real and reactive power that is specified minus calculated del P2 is equal to minus 2.187 per unit del Q2 is equal to minus 0.286 per unit del P3 is equal to minus 0.969 per unit del Q3 is equal to 0.743 per unit Sixth step we have to calculate the elements of J1 and J3 this is del P2 del P3 del Q2 del Q3 this is a J1 matrix J2 matrix is 0 J4 matrix is 0 we have to find the elements of J1 and J3 Do P2 by Do del 2 that is equal to 52.812 Do P2 by Do del 3 minus 32 Do P3 by Do del 2 minus 32 Do P3 by Do del 3 63.293 Do Q2 by Do modulus of V2 49.927 Do Q2 by Do modulus of V3 60.812 Do Q3 by Do, del, do modulus of V2 minus 32 Do Q3 by Do modulus of V3 minus 32 So this is the J1 matrix This is a J3 matrix Eighth step we have to take the inverse of J1 and inverse of J3 This is the inverse of J1 This is the inverse of J3 Ninth step we have to calculate change in delta 2 and change in delta 3 Change in delta 2 is minus 0 0.0731 radians or minus 4.1983 degrees. Change in delta 3 is minus 0 0.0523 radians or minus 2.9966 degrees. Similarly, change in V2 is 3.1765 to 10 power minus 3. Change in V3 is 0 0.0139. Tenth step we have to calculate the first iteration value. First iteration value is old value plus the change. Old is V2 old is 1. 1 plus 3.1765 into 10 power minus 3. 1.0032 per unit. V3 first iteration value is 1.0139 per unit. Delta 2 first iteration value is minus 4.1983 radians. 
Delta 3, first iteration value is minus 2.9966 radians. This way we have to work out this problem. Thanks for listening.